33, Courtney Furman. What a nice job Courtney did, again, both coming off the bench in the beginning of the season and then as a starter as the season progressed. Courtney played a significant role, as she demonstrated in her first big appearance in our 35-30 win over Shawnee by coming in the game and hitting a huge three-pointer. That really was the start for us to hold other teams accountable on how they were trying to defend us. Courtney had a career-high 18 points at RB while hitting four threes in that game. She also had 10 points in our state tournament win over Central Regional, and in the state semifinal game against Jackson, she along with Lynn Silverian got us, got us off to a good start by hitting two threes in the first quarter, um, and that really kind of got us going. Courtney led us in three-point baskets made. She had 31 this year. She also shot 32 for 37 from the foul line. That's like 86%. That's like almost automatic, all right? She also got on the floor after 50-50 loose balls, as oftentimes her knee showed by being bruised up during the season. Her performance in the SJIBT three-point shooting contest was one that we will all remember, and we don't care what Mr. Hallahan says or how he runs his contest. We all know that you really won the contest, Courtney. You made more three-pointers cumulative than anybody else that was in the contest. Courtney was selected by the Olympic American Division coaches for second team, all Olympic American Division. Courtney was also a fine leader to our underclassmen. She was always supporting our younger players. What a great kid. Courtney will go on to TCNJ to become a teacher like her mom and dad. All right. We, the coaches, are so happy that you had a great senior season, Courtney. Ladies and gentlemen, Courtney Furman.